poncho! Why yes, I am wearing a tent. <laughs> Hello, welcome, it's Jenny Belly. I received a ton of emails this month and I've seen a theme in what I've basically responded and um, said back in those emails. And I see themes very often in my communications with people online. And I also know that for every one person that might say something to me, there's like a hundred more thinking it because you know, the majority of people on the internet aren't vocal, you know, we're just silent watchers. Hello, silent watchers. We can't physically bite you over the internet, so you can say stuff to us. <laughs> I want to share this message because it's applicable regardless of what the questions were that I was being asked. I seem to be saying the same thing over and over. And so if you want to do anything in your art or in your life, really, this is a life lesson as well, I suppose. But if you want to do anything and you aren't doing it, if there's reasons why you aren't doing it, then I want you to listen up to this because this is probably one of the reasons, if not the reason, why you're not doing it. So regardless of the situation itself or the topic that was being discussed, generally the emails were all about the same thing in the sense of they were asking, how do you do something? So what I want to say is it doesn't matter how you do something if you want to do something. It doesn't matter if you don't know how to do something. That's not an excuse for not doing it. People use it as an excuse for not doing it and I know this from the correspondences that we've had and if you've had a correspondence with me recently, you know I've probably been a bit of a kick ass because I can see where people's hang ups are and I can see what they're doing and I'm like, you wanna do this, then get in and do it. Not knowing how to do it is not an excuse. And the reason why it's not an excuse is because there are a million ways of doing any one way, any one thing you wanna do. So you need to understand when you're asking somebody, how do you do this? What you're actually asking them, even if they know exactly how to do it, what you are asking them is actually to know how they have figured out how to do something for themselves. So even if they tell you the exact formula, they put it out on a silver platter, you are still gonna have to figure out how to do it yourself. Even if you've got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, you've got every single step laid out for you, you will still need to figure out how to do it yourself as you go and do it. Not knowing how to do something, let's face it, everything you've never done in the world, you don't know how to do. You might have an idea, but you don't know how to do it. So every single thing that you want to do that you don't know how to do, using I don't know how to do it is an excuse not to do it is BS. It's complete BS. And we know this principle in life, you know, like today I've just been texting my best friend for 20 years. We've just been talking non-stop all day. And that's tend to, <laughs> tend to be what we do. And so if I was to have asked somebody 20 years ago, how do we sustain a 20 year friendship? Whatever answer they give is not gonna really be applicable to me and her. We figure it out as we go. You can listen to the advice of somebody else. It's be there for each other, listen to one another, help one another along through things, but also know not to just say, woe is you in times when you know they need a rocket up the butt or you know when they need a truth telling message which is what I'm giving you now that's the test of a, of a true friend for me is is knowing when they are gonna be honest not just say to you what you what you want them to say um, that's more of a colleague or an acquaintances thing um, and I'm showing up for you here even if this message might be a bit of a bitter pill to swallow because it's saying you're just giving in to your fear as to whatever that thing is that you want to do that you're not doing and you're not doing it because you don't know how then you're giving in to your fear I'm showing up and saying that to you and not just sit here and say to you oh it's okay if you if you can't do this thing and <laughs> that's just a way of limiting your potential limiting what creative things are supposed to be in the world that aren't in the world because right now you are responding to fear rather than to your courage we do know this in life everything has to be customizable to you so say a wedding 
There's no two weddings that's ever existed that's been exactly, exactly the same. Yet the system's the same. You need a place for the service. You need somebody to do the service. You need a place for the reception. You need a guest list. You need to send out the invitations. All the things are essentially the same. But how different are they in reality? They are every single time completely different. You know at your core that every single experience you have is going to be entirely unique to you and if you're trying to create something then it's even more so because it's essentially coming from within you it's your baby it's your whatever you want to call it, it, it it's it's yours it's not for somebody else to create or to tell you how to create it and if they do then it's not going to be right for you anyway but the thing is you can always learn how so it's not an excuse not to know how. A hugely simple example of this is every time I maybe post a tutorial or a video or something where it has gesso in it, I might get asked, can I use white paint, white acrylic paint instead? And all the time, rather than just saying yes, you know, I just want to say, just try it yourself. Just figure it out your way. Just, it's, I mean, it's a very simple example and um, I don't want you to feel like you can't ask me questions but essentially this is what I'm going to tell you right now <laughs> it's do it your way that's the reason why Jenny Belly exists that's the reason why I started making video tutorials all those years ago is because not only did I not have a lot of the supplies and stuff I just didn't want them I just wanted to figure something out my way and that is essentially what creativity is about anyway but it's it's life there is no cookie cutter system for any single aspect of life art anything and even when there is it ain't gonna suit you it isn't gonna suit you you are an individual and everything about everything you do is gonna have to be individual for that reason yes it could be similar to somebody else's and that's where you can learn about the house but once you've learnt go and do because I'm also getting a lot of questions coming back firing back firing back and that's again where I'm being a kick-ass I'm just like look you're procrastinating now your analysis paralysis in just get on with it just pick a route and do because you ain't going to be able to answer these questions <laughs> i'm sorry my slang's coming out because i'm getting passionate about this you are not going to be able <laughs> to know if something is not the correct path by looking at it you're going to know it by taking it and then adjusting accordingly so if there is something you want to do that you are holding yourself back from because you think you don't know how understand you can have all of the information in the world and you are still gonna have to figure out how to do it your own way if this little I want to say, um, kick up the butt has uh, been helpful to you and you want more of this stuff from me about facing your fear look out keep an eye out for stuff that I'm bringing out soon um, it's all about that and it's good <laughs> it's good i feel this calling to do this to help people just get over their fears and get their stuff out there into the world regardless of art creativity creative business whatever it is um i see too many people holding themselves back keeping their potential shoved down because of things like this little things like this that when you begin to actually do things and you learn that that is just about a part of creative living is figuring out how to do things it's part of living let's not let's face it, it's not even creative living just figuring out how to do things then you you <laughs> you realize that's just how it is and you let go of those hang-ups so begin rolling begin moving begin doing what it is you want to do and stop allowing this stuff that's going on in here to hold you back so if you have something that you would really like to create and you would like some more support i'm going to invite you to come over to our makers meetup group that we have on journal workshops it's a weekly group where you can share your projects in a creative environment you can use us for accountability to get inspiration to track your projects and in that group i also 
give little creative assignments as well each week. So that's free to join. You're more than welcome to come play with us on journalworkshops.ning.com. So this is a card that I have permanently on my desk. Only I know what is appropriate for me. There are no cookie cutter systems that are really going to support you, love. You are amazing, you are incredible. So you just go ahead and rock it your own way. <laughs>